How awesome would it be to have a creek that we could all walk down and climb right up into our hunting stand? I mean, you talk about being able to eliminate any scent you're gonna leave getting to and from your stand, but <laughs> that's not always gonna be possible. So when we start talking about scent control uh, and attractants, basically, those are two topics that really get people interested and they're gravitating towards them. What's real, what's not, and how do they work and why do they work? And, and in my opinion, both of those play a huge role in certain situations in your hunting scenarios. Me personally, you know, clothing is, is going to be the first thing. Trying to use a good quality hunting garment that can keep some of that scent in would be a way to do it. But using different types of devices, using different types of uh, products out there are going to be key. For me, uh, the scent stick. That's what I like to deploy a lot of different uh, cover scents. The Evercom is one of my favorites from Conquest Scents. You can get it in liquid form, you can get it in a wax form, you can put it inside the, the scent stick and be able to deploy it next to you all the way around. And so it's basically whatever direction the wind's going to go, it's going to put that out there for you. Another great aspect of the uh, Conquest Scents Evercom product is it comes in a solid as well that you can put on your clothes, you can put it on your boots, especially put it around the edges of your boots when you're walking in to help eliminate leaving a scent trail. So if you don't have a creek like we've got right here to sneak down, that's a great way to concentrate on your cover scent aspects. I like to also use attractants a lot of times. I don't necessarily use attractants as much during the early season. My main focus during the early season is trying to cover a lot of scents. I don't think that the dough and heat uh, type products and any of the buck uh, testosterone type things are going to work in those September, October places where I'm typically hunting. The bucks are still together, they're still getting along, the rut hadn't even begun to begin yet. So it's cover scents. Now when I know they start to get into that pre-rut and rut situation, that's when I want to apply the attractants. And how you apply the attractants well once again some of the same methods I talked about a scent stick uh, using some of the different solids that you can rub on you or a scent fire product so scent control to me comes in a lot of different situations as well as the attractants and you can find out a lot more by going to conquest scents to learn more about their full product line of all the scent aspects out there both the attractants and the cover scents